Hi everyone. I hope you're all enjoying my gardening videos because I love to garden. And something I'm going to do new this year that I haven't done for a few years is hydroponics, which is growing in water. And there are a lot of ways you can do this, and a lot of expensive ways you can do this. But I want to show you some very economical ways. These are jello cups that you get from the grocery store that has jello in it. And I have cut holes in the bottoms all the way around to allow the roots for my plants to go down into the water. Um, and I've got some old mason jars that I, where I used to do canning. I now freeze most everything because I just prefer the taste. Um, about four days ago before we left to go camping, I had some vegetables in the refrigerator that I wanted to, you know, I didn't want to go bad. So, I took some celery and I put it in water and I've already pulled the outer stalks off. I'm going to go ahead and take this one off too. But anyway, um, if you decide to grow them in just a cup, do it so that it's just a little bit of water in the bottom. But with this method, it grows faster and it grows bigger. And you just want enough so that your water is in the bottom of the cup. And then you're going to put your vegetable in. This works well with celery. And this is grocery store celery. I bought the stalk of celery and I'm going to regrow my own celery from it. I love romaine lettuce, and we have all seen the news about romaine lettuce. It's not exactly the safest thing out there to buy now. It's always a recall on it. But that's not going to stop me from having my romaine lettuce, because I love romaine lettuce. So, I'm going to go ahead for today. No, I'll take a couple of these off. Shucks, no, I'm not because it don't have started rooting. Okay. You see I have a little bit of growth on all of them. But I'm taking them out of the cups so that I'll be able to see the roots and keep a gauge on whether I have any rottening going on with my vegetables. Because if the outside starts to rot, you do want to pull it off. Um, it's best to grow these on a windowsill. But, I'm not going to do that. I'm in Florida. I too much water in this one. And, we get excruciating heat. I mean, the heat just beats the house. So, I will be growing these in the sunroom. On the back of the house. So that, you know, I can keep an eye on my other plants. These will never go in dirt. I'm not going to have any dirt or bugs or anything with these. They will always be growing in water. And I'll keep updating you on them. And let you see if it's a fail or a go. Um, you can do this with onions. But once, if you're doing a regular onion, once you get it started and the root comes down, you have to put it in dirt. Um, the green onions, you can grow hydroponics. Hydrophonically, should I say. But yeah, this is just something I enjoy doing. I love nature. I love growing things. And I love vegetables. I eat 90% of my meals are all vegetables. So I like growing my own and not having to rush to the store when I want to make a salad. or. But the main thing is, if you are on a limited budget, do this. I mean, you can even go to the Dollar Tree and get the plastic jars, the plastic mason jars. I think they have some in the um, glass section. Well, actually, I think this one might have come from there. No, this was country style something. I don't know. I think this was a gravy or a jelly or something we picked up in our travels. But you see, it's got the little handle on it, so... Yeah, it was, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, it was homemade blackberry jelly that we got in Amish country. But that's not important. You can use anything glass you have, anything clear you have that you can see through. Um, 
if you don't have a glass that you can put it in, get these little jello cups or um, yogurt cups will work. Cut your holes so the roots can come through and just set them down in a little um, plastic container of water. As long as the roots are getting wet, they will grow. So that's my tip for today on how to grow your own food. I hope some of you would try it and let me know how it works out. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.